Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk about uh, how to pass uh, Jira admin certification exam. And uh, before I start, I just want to apologize to few people who have been asking me uh, quite regularly about uh, how to pass this exam. And uh, I believe they are contacting me because uh, when you search on Google, my blog comes up on I believe the first page of Google and a and lot of people uh, read that particular blog and uh, some of them also contact me directly and they ask me questions about uh, can you give me some tips can you give me some uh, some some ideas on how to clear this exam so I don't really uh, reply to all of them because uh, I am usually quite occupied with work but uh, but in this video, I want to share a few tips. Although what I'm whatever I'm going to talk about uh, in this video, I've already shared most of it uh, using my blog. If you read my blog, uh, you will probably uh, come to know about uh, various uh, things that you need to do to make sure that you can uh, actually pass the exam. But in this video, I just want to uh, repeat most of it again. But I will probably share a few more ideas. So first of all, you need to go to the Atlassian website and you need to download the exam topics. So let's say if you are trying to pass or clear Jira admin certification, you will be able to get a list of all the topics from the Atlassian website. So if you go to maybe atlassian.com or if you probably do a Google search, you will reach a page on uh, Atlassian where they have provided this particular list. So when you download this list, the next thing that you need to do is uh, go through the list uh, point by point. For example, uh, look at the first, uh, the very first point uh, in the list of uh, those topics and then go to the Atlassian official documentation and read about that particular point. For example, if uh, there is a topic about uh, search or let us say JQL, so read the entire page on JQL. And I, I'm really telling you because uh, uh, because when you look at the exam, when you look at the topics, each and everything is actually uh, already mentioned somewhere in the documentation. So if you read the documentation, that is probably the only thing that you need to do to make sure that you know that uh, to make sure that you are aware of uh, all the things that uh, they will be asking you so number one uh, download the list of topics number two read the uh, the documentation point by point as mentioned in the list of topics for your uh, jira admin certification exam and uh, uh, Third thing that you need to do, uh, which is quite obvious, you need to make sure that you have a Jira instance up and running, maybe on your local computer or maybe you have access to some test environment. So if you're talking about Jira admin certification, they will be asking, asking you questions mostly, I would say, I think uh, it is entirely based on Jira server version. So make sure that you have access to a Jira instance and by the way don't really install any add-on on it because uh, the topics the entire exam is actually uh, is actually based on what you can do in Jira without installing any add-on so most of it would be out of the box uh, based on uh, your Jira installation based on what you can uh, do with the help of various schemes various customizations and of course various admin related topics like uh, backup restore email notifications and by the way uh, don't worry about the topics uh, in uh, in this video i just want to share the tips not really talking i, I don't really want to uh, talk about the topics itself uh, you can get the list of topics uh, from Atlassian website so when you have, when you have your jira installed on your uh, on your computer make sure when you're reading those uh, topics and also when you're reading those documentations do take a look at uh, your Jira instance as well. Don't just read the documentation. Also do those things on your Jira instance so that uh, when you are doing your exam, when you are uh, looking at the questions, when you have done something maybe just yesterday before the exam or maybe recently, the memory will be much uh, clear. Uh, I mean, you will most likely remember what uh, they are trying to ask. And of course, uh, 
uh, you may be working on Jira for uh, let us say a couple of years. That is of course very important. But uh, when you actually do things on the instance, uh, you will remember the terminology. You will remember various options, and uh, that is very important. So make sure that you practice as well on uh, a Jira instance. And uh, apart from these things, I just want to share a few other tips. Uh, so do go to the exam center. So when you when you book the uh, book the exam, I believe Jira admin needs to be done at the exam center. But uh, if I remember correctly, the badges, the exams that you can do to renew your certification, can also be done uh, online from your own computer. But uh, I'm not sure about Jira admin certification. But uh, if if there is an option to do it uh, online using your own computer and you have also the option to go to the exam center, go to exam center. I think that is more important because you just go there, you just uh, uh, use their computer and you just focus on the exam. But when you're doing it online, maybe from your home or maybe using your own laptop, you will be worrying about the setup of the software. You will also be worrying about maybe the, dis the disturbances. And I think uh, uh, when you when you go to this exam center, you will be more serious. Uh, this is my personal uh, experience. And uh, when you're actually doing the exam, make sure that you answer each and every question. And don't spend too much time on any question that you think is not clear. So what you need to do, you need to first uh, do all the simple questions. So when you are looking at, a question, looking at the question and if you know the answer, and if you know the answer maybe uh, by thinking or maybe by reading the question within one or two minutes, answer it. If not, leave it either blank or there is an option to review it later. So don't bother uh, spending too much time on the question because uh, a question can be small or question can be big, but the answer is, uh, I mean, the, the rating, the marks uh, that you will get is same. So do these easy easy questions, do these simple questions first. And if you think it is not clear while you're reading the question, just skip it. Sometimes uh, the questions that are lengthy or, you know, they look very big, uh, they may have uh, uh, very simple uh, you know, a, a very obvious answer. So, uh, in, in that case, uh, while you're reading the question that are really big, if you think it is probably going in a different direction, maybe you need to, maybe you need to also uh, spend some time reading the question. My recommendation is that also look at the options, also look at the answers, because sometimes, uh, when you look at the answers, you can straight away eliminate few things because uh, uh, by by looking at the uh, by looking at the answer, they will be talking about a few incorrect terminology, and you can easily uh, negate or you can easily uh, disregard those answers. So do read the answers first when you are looking at a big question. So this is my recommendation: just uh, uh, do a one round of. Uh, of your answers, answer the questions that are simple, answer the questions that you know straight away. And then when you're doing a second round, then then maybe you can spend more time on uh, bigger questions or difficult questions. But in, in my experience, when you are doing this exam, if you have been working on Jira for at least a couple of years and uh, you have done your preparation, uh, you have uh, downloaded the list of topics, you have al already read the documentation and you have al also practiced along uh, uh, along with the reading of those documentation on an actual Jira instance, uh, you will be able to answer most of the questions straight away. If you don't know the answer, you will probably be doing some guesswork or you will be uh, probably uh, just uh, uh, making sure that you might remember something that you are not able to remember straight away. But it is always good to do second and maybe third round of uh, uh, third round of uh, uh, answers. And uh, when you finish the uh, the questions, when you when you finished uh, uh, maybe the first round or the second round or maybe the third round, you have the list of all the questions that you have answered that you have left blank or the the questions that you want to review later on. So sometimes I I remember correctly when I was doing this exam. I, I knew the answer, but I, ju I just want to make sure that I probably come back to this particular question again, just to give it uh, maybe one more thought. So I do use the review option uh, to make sure that I 
I, I'm just, you know, not making any mistake. And uh, to be honest, that is it. Uh, uh, there is no uh, secret formula to pass this exam. It is all about your preparation. The exam, especially the GRA admin exam, is a bit difficult because uh, the way they ask you questions, uh, you may need to have some experience, which uh, I personally think is very important. And I think when you're doing this GRA admin exam, it makes sense that uh, you have been working on uh, on Jira for uh, for, a, for for at least a couple of years. And I just want to talk about one more thing. A lot of people are asking me this question that they need to do this exam to uh, to maybe get a boost in their career. Uh, this is quite obvious, and I also sometimes agree that when you have this certification, it always helps. But if you're not working for uh, an Atlassian partner, or maybe if this is not really a requirement uh, from your current job, I don't think you should be bothered too much about uh, just doing this certification because uh, you may have a certification. It is obviously a good thing to have, but uh, you may not get a job based on the certification. You may not get a promotion based on uh, a certification. So think about whether you, you really need to do this exam or not because uh, it is a bit, ex a bit expensive. And uh, if you're already working in uh, Jira or uh, maybe Atlassian tools or maybe you have uh, some similar uh, similar experience in the same domain, then definitely it makes sense to just uh, do this exam uh, for the sake of your own satisfaction and for the sake of uh, evaluating yourself. But uh, for people like uh, us who are working for uh, a partner, I think it makes uh, more sense because I think it's a requirement for a partner it's a requirement for an Atlassian partner to have certified employees in their company. So, so definitely, if you are planning to work for a partner, then you should be doing you should be doing this exam. So, I hope uh, I uh, clarified your questions and uh, this video was uh, useful. Uh, do let me know if uh, you have further questions. If you can add a comment on this video, I'll probably be uh, answering them. But uh, Again, I apologize for not, not responding to your emails. Sometimes it's a bit difficult to respond to uh, each and every email uh, individually. So uh, again, thank you very much and uh, have a nice day.